Facing Cameron Hill, the center fielder, and he waves through the high fastball. It's nothing in one. He's in the SEC, a 247 hitter with the Wildcats, but having much more success this season. But Montgomery strikes him out to open up the ball game tonight. Serious lightning, rain, weather. Fastball up there. Chris with a strikeout. Back to play as much baseball as possible tonight. Brandon Hilton after the first pitch. Deep drive, right center field, and way out of here. Not even the rainfall could knock that one down. Hilton hits his third home run of the season, and Stetson in the run column first. Look, he's like he was sitting on something. He got it. And Chris, I've been here a long time. I have never seen a home run go so high. A first swing off the bat. It's nine conference games, but they've won six of their seven weekend series. And Montgomery picks up three strikeouts in his first inning of work. But Swing and a miss. All four outs that Carson Montgomery has recorded have come by way of the punch out. Especially after a three hour delay and Florida State will have a lead off base runner for a second straight inning is fourth to Atlanta. And he's hit by a pitch. Seminoles have two on with nobody out. Squares around a bunt and he's hit. Although they'll appeal down to first and confirm that the bat head didn't cross the front of the plate and it didn't. So three straight hit batters. Strike three called. A sweeping slider over the inside. And Gonzalez right out of the Stetson bullpen. Swing and a roller to third. They go to second for one. Relay to first. Double play. Chris Gonzalez and Stetson get out of it. There's a line shot to left center field. And Pregent rolls it out towards the warning track. He will ease into second with the leadoff double. Daytona. And he swings and misses. Montgomery picks up his fifth strikeout. And a one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout. And Hill goes down swinging for a second time. Two go There's the 2-2 two -two to Estrella. And it swung on and missed strike three. Another devastating wipeout slider. And Carson Montgomery has seven strikeouts through three innings. On three infielders to the right a second. And there's a called strike three. Struck out eight batters and picks up his ninth strikeout tonight. He's throwing a good breaking pitch again. So Juan Correa down swinging to start the inning. First pitch to Ponzio. Nice effort by carry on, but no chance to get him. Fielded that ball in the shallow outfield. High fastball and Traficante walks with two outs. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. It shoots by Vincent. Hill didn't start running, and he's out number three. Boy, if Cameron Hill would have left immediately, perhaps this inning is still ongoing, but Carson Montgomery has another scoreless frame. Back to DeLand, Florida at the conclusion of this game, and Estrella has struck out for a third time tonight. Strike three called over the outside edge. Two more strikeouts for Carson Montgomery. Alas kept the one run lead intact to the late innings as Montgomery strikes out Desiro. Full count pitch to Juan Correa and it's in the dirt ball four. Just the second walk issued by Carson Montgomery tonight as one of the three Stetson hits and now has two of the four. A multi-hit night for DePonzio. And the Hatters have two on with one out. First pitch swinging. That's a fair ball. Headed for the corner. And Stetson gets a big insurance run off the bat of Camden Traficante. A two-out RBI double. He knocks in his fifth run of the year. And Stetson goes up 2-0. Scalaro's nothing in two pitch. 
A bouncer towards the middle. Won't be an easy play. And safe. Here comes another run. And Traficante is tagged out. But that on-base streak extends to 23 for Cameron Hill. And Stetson scores twice in the top of the seventh. He never given up. Estrella to shortstop outran the play. Jaime Ferrer has Florida State's second hit tonight. And the first one that leaves the infield. A pinch hit for James Tibbs, and he swings at the first pitch, out to the gap in left center field. It's gonna bounce up against the wall. Here comes Jaime Ferrer, and Florida State is in the run column. A pinch hit run scoring double, and the Seminoles have some life. On the ground, backhanded by Traficante. He throws out Mathis, but Perry scores, and it's a one-run game. Nice play made by the Stetson third baseman. And they'll get it. In the air, shallow right center field. Perry can't get it. Off of his glove. And Stetson has him at second and third with one out. And Davis Harris throwing sliders here, throws another one. The bunt is down. Here comes Ball, and he slides under the tag. It slips out of Vincent's glove, and Stetson tacks on a big insurance run in the top of the ninth. The safety squeeze executed by Christian Pregent. That's tonight. Here's your bunt. That uh, doesn't roll to the grass, and that's to the benefit of Florida State as Colton Vincent pops out of his crouch, throws out Cameron Hill, and the Hatters settle for one run. Can it be Perry? On a hop to short. Wide throw! Perry reaches, turns the corner, and eases into second. The Seminoles will bring up the potential tying run have come from pinch hitters tonight. Not a bad idea. And it's hit in the air. Deep left field towards the foul line. It's out of here! Jackson Green, a pinch hit game tying home run with the Seminoles down to their final out. 20th ranked Florida State Pulls even. Basketball up, and he just gave it a big ride. You thought a lot of times you, you get a ball like that, you may hook it. That ball just hugged the line out there. Florida State with the big life here in the bottom of the ninth. Tip your cap to Mike Martin Jr. All full. Dick Hauser. 3-2 pitch in the air to right field. This will stay in the ballpark, and Keel makes the catch. Jackson Green just tied the game up at the bottom of the ninth to f make us go to 10 innings here at 4-4, and both of Jackson Green's home runs this season so far have resulted in wins. You had a 5-1 win against Wake Forest back on March 13th, and then a 4-0 win against Duke back on March 25th. In the air, left center field. Perry is under it. And he makes the catch. Stetson wastes the leadoff double. And 20th ranked Florida State. Game up then. If it came down to it. And we will have an 11th inning. As Lacey strikes out swinging. Amaral bounces back with a 1-2-3 10th. Out of the Florida State bullpen. There's a fly ball to right center field. Hit well. Way back there. And it's off the top of the wall. And for a second time in this half inning. It's a long single. Perry played the carom perfectly. Swing and a miss. Hill strikes out, and Crowell keeps this game tied at four. And there's Perry. Little flare, shallow center, and Traficante makes the catch in the shallow outfield. Took a while for the bats to 
Wake up and they just beat the shift. Florida State had three infielders to the right of second. Not quite the home run he hammered back in the first. Bounce to second. Roberts has it. Inning over. Stetson strands another base runner in scoring position. A transfer from Clemson. And Roberts reaches for it on a hop to short. He will reach as it hit the infield dirt. Roberts goes. It's bounced to short. Estrella fields this one cleanly and throws out Vincent. But now Roberts is at second. Prior to that, at Wofford. That's in his third D1 stop. Line drive, base hit, center field. Here comes Roberts, and Florida State wins it. Jordan Carrion, a walk-off winner in the bottom of the 12th. He's had a great approach all night. Worked the ball up the middle the other way, just got a pitch up in the zone, drove it up the middle for the walk-off. 